welcome to my youtube channel houseplan today join today i'm going to teach you guys on how to do site analysis that's kind of the updated um video i did the recent the other video i did on site analysis is just the updated version of it so you need your area area of site area of site is going to be on the survey of the drawing then you want the 50 percent of site which is going to be this area of site divided by two then you want the area of the ground floor that's the ground floor is going to be this one it's going to be this one times this one so that's going to be area of ground floor and if you have the first floor you are going to actually do the, the, the same thing for your first floor plan and second floor plan and all of it has to be in square meters when you guys multiply if you if you were to multiply 17 100 times 10 10,300 it's going to give you something like this so on your site analysis you're going to have 176.1300 so just eliminate this other one okay just put in the four figures and for your net area net area is either is, either is net area or on built area so your net area is going to be area of site that's this one minus area of building and that's this one so that's going to be 662.386 minus 176.1300 that's what's, that's what's going to give you your net area as you can see so if you want the percentage of the net area, the percentage of the net area is going to be your net area. That's this one. Okay. I will, I won't advise you guys to use uh, this type of calculator because it's just or that is to use the scientific calculator. That is much more preferable so you guys don't make any mistake. So for your percentage of net area, what you want to do is just you take the net area. This is the net area then you want to divide it by area of site that is 662.386 okay then once you once you once you divide it then you times it by 100 so you want you want to see your figure so you should be having 73.40 that's how i got 73.40 percent so for your area of landscape It's going to be area of sites that is 662.386 divided by 100 okay so you have this then then you want to multiply it well this i will advise you guys to write this figure down because there's a way you um you have to do it it doesn't look uh messed up 15 divided by 100 so you are going to be having this as you can see uh 099.3579 that's what we're going to be having square meters then you want to write 15 percent since you use 15 percentage to divide the area of the, uh, of the landscape you are using 15 percent portion of it okay so what you do for for the for the area of landscape it is area of site divided by 100 that is area of site divided by 100 times 15 over 100 that's why you're gonna have this and you just write this then you, then you bracket it then for the volume the volume is um length, length times breadth that's this one of the ground floor times height of your section so when you do your section just want to check in your section just pick any 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 of the sections right so this one is uh, 13,124 uh, so 13,124 times the ground floor that is 176.1300 so you're going to be having 2311 Point 
5301 in cube meters. Then percentage covered is going to be area of building 176.1300 divided by area of sites. This one. Okay equals to this then you have to times it by 100 so you are going to be having 26.59 that's how I got 26.59 percent the number of units is going to be how many, how many livable um, how many livable units are there in the, in the building so for my own I have um, this is one here and this is two okay same vice versa for the um first floor and second floor so when you when you add everything up one two three four five six i have six number of, of uh, units then you want to multiply for you to get the packs you multiply the six unit by two which is going to give you 12 number of packs the number of floors is three okay so this is how to do site analysis when you are working your site plan in AgriCAD. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial video.